Achieving peace and prosperity anywhere in the world is a tall task, and Asia is no different. To talk over ways to cool them, world leaders and experts have gathered on Korea's southern island of Jeju for a three-day global forum. Our Connie Kim has more. Under this year's theme of Designing New Asia, the 9th Jeju Forum for Peace and Prosperity kicked off Thursday. At the opening ceremony, former Australian Prime Minister Juliet Gillard and former Chinese Foreign Minister Li Jiaoxing called for rising conflicts in the region to be resolved peacefully, including the North Korea issue. The new leader, Kim Jong-un, comes across as both dangerous and erratic. We accept that China's military growth is a natural, legitimate outcome of its growing economy and broadening interests. It is important that China and others in the region explain to their neighbours the pace and scope of their military modernisation to build confidence and trust. China's rise in power and its territorial disputes in the East and South China Seas were the focus during a discussion that followed the opening ceremony. The rise of powerful nations in the West came at the expense of other countries. As a peace-loving nation, China has never sought to invade other countries. The progress and development realized by China came peacefully. Regarding its territorial disputes, the former foreign minister said China had sovereignty over the areas. There is free navigation in the South China Sea, so we always welcome this. However, interfering in the territory is unfair behavior. We need to resolve this through diplomacy. For peace to be realized in Asia, the speakers agreed that regional economic partnerships and free trade pacts were positive ways to enhance cooperation and diffuse tensions. Amid a number of territorial and historical conflicts in the region, world leaders and experts have gathered to discuss ways to resolve the differences for the sake of peace and prosperity. Connie Kim, Arirang News, Jeju.